A member from Windsor to come seek. Good afternoon, Speaker. It's always an honor to be called upon to speak in our Legislative Assembly, and today, especially so, this bill is to proclaim November as Lebanese Heritage Month in Ontario. I can't begin to tell you how important our Lebanese community is to the good people in Windsor and Essex County. I guess if we turn back the hands of time, we see that people from Lebanon be began coming to Canada 134 years ago in 1882. Eventually, these newcomers from Lebanon found their way to Windsor and Essex. I know by the 1920s, the first Maronite Catholics built St. Peter's Church on the corner of Perrin Avenue and Niagara Street, just about a block or so from my riding boundary of today. The front doors of that church opened on the 7th of February in 1924. Five years later, settlers from Hungary were holding services there until they could build their own church. In the late 80s, many of the original families relocated their services to the St. Charbel's Church at a monastery just off what is now the Herb Gray Parkway in the town of Tecumseh. Speaker St. Charbel was a Lebanese monk who lived like a hermit on top of a mountain that is known for miraculous healing powers. In 2000, the other members of the St. Peter's Parish purchased the former St. Clair of Assisi Catholic Church on Tecumseh Road at Dougal in West Windsor. It's a beautiful Art Deco style facility, Speaker, and there's nothing quite like the St. Charbel Charbel's Church and Monastery property either. In fact, we just spent a lovely evening there with religious and community leaders a couple of weeks ago. I joined the leader of Ontario's New Democratic Party, Andrea Horvath, as did the members from Essex and Windsor West during the leader's tour of southwestern Ontario. As a matter of fact, the federal member for Essex, Tracy Ramsey, was part of our delegation that evening at St. Charbel's, as well as her constituency and outreach assistant, Nadine Eberad, a proud Lebanese Canadian. We also spent time in that tour visiting with the leadership of the various Islamic communities. And yes, many of those leaders came here from Lebanon as well and are very proud of that. Speaker, there was a civil war in Lebanon between 1975 and 1990, and Canada was one of only a few Western countries to open its arms to those fleeing for their lives. We welcomed hundreds of these newcomers to the Windsor area. Many of the more recent Lebanese immigrants are Muslims and Druze and came to Ontario seeking refuge and a peaceful place to work and raise their families. Lebanon is a fabulous country, Speaker, the Paris of the Mideast. It's the most democratic country in the Arab world. They have a consensuous democracy whereby the highest political offices are shared among the various religions. The president is a Mennonite Christian. The prime minister is a Sunni Muslim and the parliamentary speaker is a Shia Muslim. Our local Lebanese population is growing immeasurably from the early days and they're spreading their wings. There's a huge number of Lebanese Canadians now living and working in Leamington, for example. Some estimates have our regional population of those proud Lebanese descents, uh, people of Lebanese descent at 20,000 speaker. Of course, that pales in comparison to the Dearborn area of Michigan, just a short drive away from Windsor, which is home to 250,000 Lebanese Americans. Windsor's previous mayor, Eddie Francis, at 29, was the youngest mayor in Windsor's history, and he is Lebanese. We have at least 40 medical doctors of Lebanese descent in Windsor and Essex County. Many of our most influential business leaders hail from Lebanon, as do many college teachers and university professors. We have at least 20 Lebanese restaurants and numerous Lebanese bakeries. Our regional communities have been enriched by our Lebanese friends and neighbors, and they have helped us become one of the most diverse regions in all of Canada. Speaker, this bill, naming November as Lebanese Heritage Month in Ontario, is welcomed and overdue. It will have the full support of our leader, Andrea Horvath, and the caucus members of the New Democratic Party of Ontario. Further